close your eyes and focus on your breath. Know when the breath is coming in, know when it's going out. If you have trouble staying with the breath, use the word butto along with it. But in, to, out. Butto means awake. After his awakening, the Buddha was asked what he was. Was he a human being? No. Was he a deva? No. He just said, awake. That's the kind of quality of mind we're trying to develop here. Alert, knowing what you're doing, knowing the implications of what you're doing. We're here to train the mind because the mind is the source of all our actions, and our actions are the things that shape our lives. We can't do much about our present actions, go, go back and change our past karma. You can't do that. But you can train the mind in the present moment to create good karma and also to respond well to the results of your past karma so you don't pile suffering on top of you. So you realize the training of the mind is really important. This is why the path, this is why the path begins with right view, understanding that training your mind is the source of all true happiness. Now, there are lots of pleasures out there in the world. But a lot of them turn around and bite you. In other words, they get you complacent and then they f leave you. You want something that doesn't leave you. So that's what we're working on here, a quality of mind that can dig down deep inside and see what's really going on. Because most of us do go through life not awake. We go through kind of sleepwalking, responding to things in ways that we're not really fully aware of. So we want to bring the mind into the present moment so we can give its full attention to what's going on right here. Try to develop this quality of being awake. Wherever you say anything, wherever you do anything, even when you're just thinking things, try to be awake and alert to what's happening, what you're doing and the results you're getting. And that way you're in a better position to change things for the better. If we couldn't change our habits, if we couldn't change our ways of doing things, the Buddha said it wouldn't be worth his while to teach anybody. But we can change. Just because we've done something for a long time doesn't mean we have to stick stick with it. And John Sowat gave the example of taking a light into a dark room. He said that may have been dark in there for who knows how many hundreds of years. But the darkness doesn't have the right to say, okay, you can't bring a candle in here. We've been here before. We, we have rights of seniority. As soon as the light comes in, it disperses the darkness. The same with this quality of alertness, even though we may have had some habits that cause harm to ourselves, harm to other people, suffering for ourselves, suffering for other people. When we bring this quality of awake alertness to what we're doing, we can see what we're doing, and then we can make our minds that we really want to do something about it, change our ways, so change them for the better. So try to be awake each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out. And you'll see a lot of things you never saw before. <laughs>